We are. We are live. All right, so it is paint day. Let's see if I can do this two-handed. <laughs> These are all buffle head. And I'll move this over here. There's more buffle head there. There's a couple puffing. There's some puffing. And there's some wood duck. And uh, I've got a whole bunch more stuff still outside. But it's a little bit warm. But if I could only get the breeze to come into here, whew, I think I'd be feeling a whole lot better. And I had the back door open too, so I'm not really sure why we have no flow. Happy Tuesday afternoon to you. I hope it was a great long weekend. Boom. Speaking of K2 and Finn City's Pit Boss Brown, big giveaway coming on. Go on Instagram right now. You can check it out. I got a post up. It is an awesome K2 cooler. I think we're going to do, it's a 20 quart cooler, and we're going to do 12 of the Pit Boss Brown. 12 ounce? 12 ounce. That's 12 ounce. They are. And, um, times two because I, I have actually had two coolers. But go on over to Instagram. I gotta get I gotta get it posted up on here too, but I just haven't had time. I am uh working on some the buffle head. They're finally getting painted. Working on some buffle head backs. I got bottom paint on everything. Bottom paint always seems to we'll say it takes the most time. I'll be right back. I won't say that it takes the most time, but it does take time to dry because I ended up sitting everything back on them. So I do want it. I do want it to kind of have a little have a little respite. Um, kind of, I guess you can see a little little sweat on me. I had a shower once already today. Well, from actually rewind from carving this morning, I ground just a little bit, and I did come back, and um, I just wanted to get clean before I was in here, let me lean back, before I was in here to, to paint, I thought it might be nice, but man, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating, so. Haven't painted a buffle head in a long time. I think I got the drake down pretty good. We're gonna see about the hen, see exactly 100%. Hey Mike, what's up? See how how we do with, with, the, uh, with, the, with the hen. I got, I grabbed one that I like and got it going on. I think this is going to need just a little bit more burn number. This is kind of my black duck black. The tails really just aren't black, I don't think. What do you think? And or it's cool to have a little color difference there. A little junk right there. Here, let me, you know what I can do? Give me one second. Boom, boom, there we go. But yeah, I think we need just a little bit, a little bit more of Whoops, almost, almost lost it. Ugh. Just a little bit of that. Just a touch. There we go. So if you didn't know, Black Duck Black is burn umber and ultramarine blue. I can't tell you why the blue, why or how, but it just makes it look good. I think. Now that almost looks too brown. I don't know. Paint with Golden's heavy body matte. Oh, acrylics, excuse me. This is a hollow hollow cedar bird. And uh, I can't say that this one is like painting on the center block because he's actually pretty smooth. Good. I, I am kind of wet now. Wish I had a little. Kind of a. Uh, I like the texture. So as you see, kind of. This is my brush that I'm using. I just, so I guess if you want to say dab, I guess this would be dab versus spread. How about that? Does that make sense? I think. Uh, still looks like just a skosh brown. I don't know. The backs, the upper back is going to be straight up black. But I went, again, I'm going, I want the black duck black for the tail. Just want a little, 
little contrasting colors, how about? Man, it was super nice this morning. Uh, what? 60, 62 or so. I know September 7th is PEI's opening Canada Goose. I texted you off early. Was he set up? He replied, either at their hour ahead because of the uh, Atlantic time zone. But he, he texts back pretty quick that they already had 18 on the ground. Two bands. I think that's what they finished with. But it's warm now. It was nice this morning, but I'll say it's, it's warm. I just don't know why I can't get the airflow through here. I guess I need to break out one of those big fans. But All right. Little hollow guy. So, again, it got the, got the bottoms done. Took a while. I, I, I think I branded, shoot, 30-some birds this morning. And I did the old, uh, I don't know if you can make it out or not, but the old engraver. As so I put the dates on. This will be like painting on a cinder block. Still works, though. Mm. I'll let you guess, but... Boom. Sincerely, get on Instagram. I am going to put it on here. It's because I did a picture and a video... Instagram would not allow me to share it to uh, Facebook for whatever reason. So it is what it is. All right, so little black duck black. Get it on there good. Today is Tuesday. I hope everybody had a great long weekend, safe and happy. Karen and I did. We enjoyed. We had a big. Big burning at the farm, so progress made there. She was happy that it looked looked a little flatter. A lot of the brush piles and whatnot. Uh, Brad, thank you. You know what I did? If I don't get to Texas, I was going to bring Texas up in a second or two. If I don't bring, if I don't get to Texas this time, you wait to see the case. I'll post it up. It's a Pelican case. It's a 17, 1740 something, but. It's huge. And if anybody in Salisbury has any issues with my case, um, my head seriously will explode. I'll, I'll be dead. My head will explode. I don't know how you shouldn't joke around about that kind of stuff, but if you wait till you see this Pelican case, if they have anything to say about it, my head truly will explode. I'll be headless. But yes, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday morning early. On to Texas, El Campo. What would that be considered? Southeast, I guess, right? Southeast, Brad? I think so. Yes, very much looking forward to this trip. I have kind of mixed emotions. Something that Karen can't go on, and she always travels with. And she likes to go see places anyway, so she would enjoy she would enjoy the trip too, but um, but I'm looking forward to going. Minus Karen, sadly. But October 14th, she gets her revenge when we hopefully, fingers crossed, 100%, we cross the border and we get into Canada and we head out to PEI. Geographically, that would be the furthest. I th there may be a little Cape Britain, Nova Scotia, maybe is a little further east. Then PEI, but I'm going to call it PEI. You know what? The two, route two, it starts on PEI. So, um, yeah. I, I'm i going to say that it is the furthest that you can drive without having to get on a ferry in Canada. Furthest east, excuse me. So, Bufflehead, Bufflehead, Bufflehead. They're nice little birds. I'm actually really pretty happy with the way they turned out. I think I hear Duke and Rye are both out. I think I hear them moving around a little bit. All right. Nice little low head. That head's old, older than older than these bodies for sure. Oh, there's a little breeze. I feel it. Feels good. My little Dewalt fan battery ran out, so. I don't have it running this second. But actually, that, that felt really good. Uh, 
Black Duck Black for those who are just tuning in and joining Facebook Live. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to stop by and see what is what. Back to the gun, Brad, if you're still with us. Um, the new, Karen's new gun is actually going with me. The Benelli 20 gauge Super Black Eagle 3. It's not mine, it's hers, but she won't let me take it. So yes, it's going to be securely secured. And I don't think I don't think it's going to be a problem flying with it. Again, if there is, my head truly is really going to explode. I will be headless in Salisbury Regional Airport. But the thought has gone through my mind. The case is big enough. I'm going to put, put my waders in there. I've kind of got to try to get, think smart, work smart, er, and uh, it's big enough I can put waders in there too. And maybe a 1.75, a crown black. It's all the foam. You know, make a little special, make a little special area for it. Thank you, Jim. Good afternoon to you. All right. Feel a little more of that air. Feels good. But I am looking forward to Texas Teal. All right, let's get another one. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. It uh, It's still up to debate to what the bird truly is. So, um, I need to go back and dig out some pictures maybe from uh, probably four seasons ago now at the Southgate Pond. There was one that hung out. And actually, video two, where I was down there, it's like, man, it's rare that it drops down single degrees here, but it dropped down single degrees uh, it's if you recall, if anybody follows along, do you remember the videos where like the wood ducks had there was wood ducks with snow? They were snow covered wood ducks, snow covered cans, snow covered shovelers. It was it was in that time frame time period, and there was there was a a uh, a bird very similar to it. So I need to go back and see. You know, is it just a farm goose? Which there are on the pond. Is it just a farm goose with a Canada, or is it is it truly something maybe a little bit more than that? So, um, if you hear in the videos, I in one of the videos, maybe two of them, I do even say something about, hey, Karen, do you hear? Because it did sound much different. And sitting in front of it down at the pond that that year, two years in a row, I think actually, um, you definitely could hear it had a much higher honk. And I even said in the video, you can, I think you can hear the audio where I say something like, hey, is, is that that's like it sounds like that gray lag, you know? So, uh, I guess there's just those oddities that it, it's everybody can say what they are, but you know, I guess if you weren't there at conception, you don't know really what it is, right? That kind of thing. But it makes good conversation, I think. So, thank you for following along. This Facebook Live, I'm going to put this on YouTube, I think, probably. More than likely, it will. So that looks pretty good. Oh, low battery. Let me, uh, boom. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, a little goofy. Oh, very cool. Western Washington. Been there. Had one awesome trip. Just only been there once. Been to Eastern Washington a couple times. No, I've been, excuse me, I get my wet east and west confused, I guess, being on the east coast. Yes, western Washington, we've, I've been there many times, gone many times. Eastern Washington, only been once. But uh, some fond, fond memories. And I always tell people, if I had to move to one place other than here for waterfowl, that Puget Sound area would be my choice, I believe. Awesome area you have there. Some great memories and great times there, yes. So in the permit zone, Michael, of let's say uh, Oregon, if you if 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 you don't know it, that's fine, no worries. But if you, you do know that, like what is the 
What's the bird? They don't. It's not illegal to shoot, but once you shoot it, they don't. You don't give your don't. You don't get your card back again. And um, Vancouver is it? Canada Goose, excuse me. Is it a Vancouver? But basically, it it, it was um, wasn't that? Isn't that like a kind of a man made man made hybrid? Wasn't it? I remember something about it. Right, went underneath the trailer. I heard something out there going on. I am warm. I can hear her panting, actually. She's in the shade, though. Uh, Noah named this the Turtleback. Let's keep moving. I, 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 I'm warm. A little DeWalt fan died on there. Thank you, thank you, boom. No, well, the, the permit zone was for cacklers, yes. That you could, uh, was it three days a week we could shoot them, but you had to take a test to be able to shoot in the permit zone where the cacklers were, where you could shoot. It was four, a four goose limit, no more than two cacklers. But you took the, you took the, the, uh, you took your, your test. So you, the test was basically to identify this bird. And, and all, quite often, as I recall, it will, it will come in low and slow and decoy very nice. And there was a high, high ratio were collared with red collars and green collars. And, um, I don't know. I, I really I thought the story was something to the effect that it's like a man made man made hybrid kind of thing, um, and it's a goose in Canada where I guess they can shoot them. I remember not not in Canada, excuse me, in Alaska where they can shoot them without without disregard. I mean, whatever the limit is, you can shoot as many as you can shoot. Whereas basically in the permit zone, so in the permit zone, if you don't know, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Um, each day. We had, first off, we had a card. We had to sign our goose card. And after the hunt, we were supposed to immediately go to the checking station. And at the checking station, all our geese would get checked. And, uh, oops, just dropped some paint right on the top of my foot. Good thing these are old flip-flops. Um, remember, they punched, speaking of foot, they punched a hole in the foot. They ran a piece of wire through the, the nose. Illusion. Nah, Illusion. I don't, I don't think that was it either. I thought it was a, a Vancouver, some Vancouver. Anyway, put this tag through their nose, piece of wire, had a crimp on it, on and on and on. And if they deemed that you did not shoot one of these geese, which it wasn't illegal to shoot the goose, you just your season was over in the in the permit zone. They gave you another card so you could shoot more. Excuse me, shoot more. You could shoot another day. Um, I can't remember what I can't remember what the bird is. It's been too long ago, I guess, and, and I'm old. So. Ooh, I don't think it was an illusion. I, I, I'm, if I had to, I, I, there's like a Vancouver, I think. I do remember some story of like, oh, they put them on these islands, they clip their wings and something, something, something. Maybe it's just local Canada goose lore. Now you're gonna make me Google it. I'm gonna have to. Now my mind's working. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to know the answer. That year we flew into Portland, and then we drove east, uh, Snake River, Columbia River. That whole was it would be the confluence. Would you, is that the correct word? Confluence, like Kennewick. Very cool area. Kennewick, Washington, somewhere there. And then we made our way back to Portland. We shot there. Yes, I do remember that. I was very fortunate to be able to, sh to shoot my shoot my Harley. And you had to have a C-Duck card for that, too. And even write the time when you shot them. I think the, I think the permit zone, the goose card, you're supposed to write your the time you shot them, too. 
So, uh, we shot East Washington, then we headed headed back to Portland area. And as I recall, it was like Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Anyway, I think we we shot one day just west of Portland for Cacklers, and then we went on out to um, Astoria, and we gunned to Columbia one day. One day. Yeah, one day. I'll say one day. And then we drove back over and uh, into the permit zone for the for the little for the little geese. Top three trips ever. I've been fortunate to travel. Uh, the Puget Sound with the Otter Brothers definitely was definitely was in my top three. On that same trip, headed over to the Snake River. And shot GoldenEye with Tom Matus. That is definitely in my top three. And then back the little, but not different years. Otter Brothers, Tom Matus, Puget Sound, Snake River was was in the same trip, same year, but in a different season. Came back out and shot the little geese with uh, Brad Cochran and Dave Smith. So those are those are probably the top three. I've got lots of other great memories for traveling, but. I, you know, I say that, so now I have to factor in, I do have to factor in PEI. PEI, Karen and I, I think we would, we could own a cottage there that we'd rent out and basically go spend a month there too, of our own time. There we go. Boom, boom, and boom. All right, I got to figure out which I'm doing next. So that's all the Drakes. Okay, hens, how sticky as can be. Pens, I think I'm going to go with basically, uh, looks like I only have three hens. Okay. I think we're going to go heavier, heavier on the burnt umber versus the black duck black. There we go. Yeah, that's a good head color. You could go straight. Straight burn umber, but Gene Kelly, what is up? How's that new camera? Thank you for taking the time out and joining Facebook Live. This will probably go up on YouTube after the fact. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much. But definitely, if you're tuning in live here, thank you for taking the time. Awesome. The ADD is a nice, I'll slow down, the A-D, A-T, A-T, there we go, That that's the correct pronunciation, A-T, 8-0, A-D, A-D-D, letter D, is a very nice camera. Glenn, what's going on? See a warm one here, of course, about 10 feet away from me, there's a nice breeze, I just haven't figured out how to. How to get it to come in here. I've said this before. I'll say it again. I was going to say it before. And I'm going to say it again. Pitbull's World Headquarters. That was an odd sound. Pitbull's World Headquarters paint paint shop is definitely going to have air conditioning. Not so sure that the carving, carving, carving room will. And it's going to have PEXT tubing everywhere. So we're gonna have some radiant heat out the yin yang. It's gonna be good. There we go. Almost need to be a little, a little on the blacker side. If you're just joining us, joining me, not us. Karen's not here. But if you're just joining me, Friday we fly, Southeast Texas. Texas Teal. Looking forward to it. It's been on my radar, but like after a long weekend, kind of thought more about my week and what I got going on. I was like, ooh. Woke up this morning it's three days and I'm flying. So, looking forward to it. There we go. All right. 
Doesn't look too bad, I don't think. And I will get it up here on Facebook. If you're not over there yet, K2 Cooler, boom. Ooh. And Fin City Beer, the Pit Boss Brown. Going to be doing, it's going to be a big announcement. Well, not that big announcement. But it's going to be an announcement. It's going to be fun, a fun little, fun little event. How about not to give too much away yet. It will involve K2 Coolers. It will involve Fin City Brew Company right here in Ocean City. Ocean City's, well, not in Ocean City, just outside Ocean City. Ocean City's oldest brewery. And the Pit Boss Brown. A bourbon-inspired beer. Awesome, man. Blue, that's... Saw uh, Saturday. Very fortunate. Karen and I got invited on a very nice stuff hunt over in Dorchester County. A little bit to the west, and uh, there was a nice little group of maybe 20 on one impoundment, 20, 20 blue wings. Um, but yeah, last year, opening day, which Saturday will be opening day in Texas, uh, the one farm we were on, 968 teal. So it is a big teal area. Something like 80, 90% of the blue wing teal go through that. Southeast corner of Texas, headed south. Kind of a crazy number if, if, it, if it's, even if it's, even if it was 60%, even if it's 50%, that's a lot of, that's lot, all the blue wings that go through one area, one region. Yeah. All right, so I got to think ahead here real quick. What am I going to get into next? Actually, you know what? Maybe the wood duck. Wood Duck Rear Ends. Uh, Fred West has my buff color, which I really don't want to mix it any more up. But I could put I could put some gray down and put white white over them. I think anyway. And you know what? That'll be a great idea because I also had the puffin. What they get white rumps too. Puffin I've not painted before, so I got to be a little more a little slower with them just to keep up with. What I'm doing. All right, I'm going to switch up my Yeti. Go from the K2 cooler to the Yeti. That's for hydration. This is for recreation. Recreation. It doesn't really rhyme, does it? Hydration, recreation. I don't know. All right. I overseeded the front yard, actually the backyard too. Overseeded the backyard and the front yard, but did two different two different sets of seed in my first seed actually this morning. So overseeding, I like to think of no, I have not, but sadly, and I text him today. I'm answering Gene. He said any word on the pit boss flags. Brian Wetcher was just Karen read it. I'm not she keeps up closer than I do. She reads better than I do. But anyway, sadly, Brian Wetcher, Wetchco Science, has uh, got diagnosed with Bell's palsy. So I'm not 100% sure what that means. I did not, even though it's his, he's in charge and it's his business, I did not, about the flags, I did not you know, talk with him about them. But yeah, I got three different sizes coming. So the 12 by 18s, I had to order a bunch, 10 or 12. And then the, uh, the, the 2 by 3 and 3 by 5, I didn't order as many. Just the cost. Cost of shipping is all I'm asking for. I'm not looking to make anything on them. I appreciate your interest and you want one. So, truly, really, I'm not going to make anything on them. But, yeah. I did text him early this morning. He did not reply. So, I don't know what his his health situation as well as his emotional situation is there. So, we, Brian Wetchko. Brian Wetcher, excuse me, Wetchko signs. Thank you to be we are, sir. Hopefully... It's not too much of a change in life for you. I don't know. I've heard of it before. But my mother threw my mom somewhere. She had, knew somebody had it. it sort of looks like it, the picture he posted up. He was looking like he was having fun with it, but kind of had a little bit of a like almost like he had a little bit of a stroke. So sadly. Well, it's, it's the world headquarters, man. 
I've, to rewind, truthfully, how did this all come about? I've always wanted to have, and Karen can back this up if she was here. Definitely since I've known her, which is going, well, I've known her a long, long time, but since we've been more intimate, a good 10 years, I've always said, hey, I'd like to have a place to keep the duck boat inside. So that's how this all started. Um, it's going to end up is that's where we're going to live. So it's going to be a, a barn dominium, a pole barn that going to be 104 by 50 with about a 40 by 40 bump out. And I am one. That's going to be the living space. Um, and yeah, it's going to have a nice, going to have a carving area, painting area, cooking area, a little bit of everything area there. There's some big, sadly, there are some big uh, restrictions coming to the sea duck season. So I'm just trying to stay ahead of the curve a little bit. We may change gears a slight bit. I might change gears a slight bit. Um, we'd really like Karen to come work for the brand. So that's that's out there and on the horizon of things I'd like to have happen. But yeah. Gene, I can do the beer now, but honestly, I can fit the flag right in there and it's not gonna change. I use the I'm gonna use some flat rate shipping, so it's not gonna change the uh the cost of the shipping, so I, I would just wait until I get the flag if that's okay. And there's still plenty of beer, so that's, there's no issue there. And our good friends, Molly's, mymollies.com. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's going to be everything at once. We actually were there. Um, we did a burn on, on Sunday, and we talked about, again, if Karen, ooh, man, my hair. If Karen uh, comes and works for the brand, maybe kind of do some, some, um, What's the word? Specialized or intimate? A hands-on? Uh, dog boarding. She would enjoy doing that. So have a nice nice little kennel. Maybe a five, six, seven, eight run kennel. On the property, but not attached to the building. Um, that would be something something I could see that we, we, we were talking. thought it was wet. We were talking. Oh, speaking of dogs. Rye. Um, she's going to be an idiot now. That that would be something that she would really enjoy. And speaking of rye, we're going to breed rye. So not that I'm going to get into dog training, but definitely have some property and some space to uh, maybe work like more like a started dog kind of concept. Um, we do want to keep a puppy. So that might be a way to... to um, I almost hold my breath when I paint. Almost held my breath there. Uh... But that might be something that we could get a little, little add on um, and just kind of supplement all that we're trying to do there. So That is what PBHQ is. I'm using gray here. Just kind of the first coat. I want this to be, again, Fred West. I love you, man. But you do have my, you do have my, my buff color. I'm not going to, it's a big jar. I'm not going to mix, mix it up. And honestly, the buff color, I it would probably, it would be more white than anything. So I'm just going to, I'm going to put white over this. But it, white will cover this pretty decently, I think. So yeah, that's the idea of PBHQ, the farm, Pitbulls World Headquarters. Uh... Great meeting place in the afternoons. I probably won't meet anybody there in the morning. The hunt won't start there in the morning, but I think it can end there. Nice little office space. Pit Boss Bar. That's what I was calling it in the beginning. I've kind of stepped off that because it kind of upset Karen a little bit. So I've kind of stopped calling it the Pit Boss World Headquarters and Bar. There will be a bar there. No worries. Uh, but yeah, just, just a place to keep doing what we do. If you saw this garage right here, uh, I do need to, do need to thin out things that we have, but at the same time, we still just have, a, I have, I can't talk about Karen because she would say what she said. I can't say her. It's me. And it is me. Not really small, we small cabins. We kind of thought about that, that there is a little bit of room. I think where the, the kennel the proposed kennel in our mind, that would be where that would happen. 
Um, I don't know. Still to be determined. How about that? I like to say that often. Still to be determined. Feel a little breeze there. Not much. Just a little bit. Uh, I'm okay. I'm going to come back with the white anyway. I might be getting ahead of myself. Nah. So with decoys, I was always taught to go from tail to the bill. And it's just kind of layering, 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 putting putting paint over top of paint. And, and uh, I mean, oh, did I stretch? Here's an old Henwood duck. But, you know, it's it's just paint over paint over paint. And that's that's okay. I was worried, I was thinking maybe I should have went on the, on the top side before the rumps, but no, we're good. I'm liking that. Oh, I thought it was going to fall. I thought you were going to hear it. All right. Man, I need more. Here we go. A little turn hit action. Thank you, Glenn. Facebook Live. And again, this is going to end up being on YouTube, I feel. Unless something happens to the footage. Occasionally, there's a little snafu where doesn't save properly or correctly. You can laugh at me. I'm just looking forward to flying. <laughs> That's one of my motivating factors. We got ripped off. Karen got ripped. She's the one who really got ripped off. I got ripped off too. But Game Fair, we got, we got ripped off that weekend. Just a horrible thunderstorm rolled through. Uh, the, the small airport Salisbury we fly out of, You there, there are no... What would you call them? Uh, you have to walk outside to get on the plane. So there's no tunnel, gangway, whatever you want to call it. There's none of that. And uh, we were very, very late. And it was a Friday. We, co we couldn't even get a flight low power. We couldn't even get a flight back to Salisbury. We had to run a car. But anyway, it was just a messed up event. I had my timeline. My timeline was off. And then... And she agreed with me. Matter of fact, I just did get, well, I got the email. I'm not sure it showed up in the, in the bank account yet, but I just did get a refund. At least the email saying I'm getting refunded. So however that works. Never had to get a refunded flight before because we always fly. Yeah. These Wood Duck, Oakview Farms. Get on Instagram, check them out. Charlie, Carol Ann, Oakview Farms. That's where we shot Doves. He was very nice to invite us over Saturday. Uh, it's probably a little hard to see, but there is his brand. The Pit Boss brand and Oakview Farms. Dorchester County. But these are going to... He got Wood Ducks from me last... Uh, Drake's from me last year. He wanted some hens. He's got some very nice impoundments there. That's where these guys are going. I have available a couple buffalo head and some black duck, if you're interested. If you're not, no worries. But if you are interested, we can get them out to you. There we go. Ocean County, yep, 25 and 26, sadly. Uh, and you know what? Two sadlies in there. Sadly, that is Molly's anniversary weekend. Molly's Play Sporting Goods, M Y M O L L Y S dot com, mymollys.com. That's their weekend. I used to always go and do that show. Used to take Coot up there and um, do very well in their dog contest. I won't say that we, that we, hap, you know, we were dominated it. We did, but I won't say that. We just we did very well at the at the dog contest and. The decoy contest. I've got some nice plaques behind me. There we go. Right there. One, two, three, four, five. And there's a sixth one somewhere. Anyway, but yes, I, I will not be there. And Cedar Swamp Decoys, Nick Costellano, he was all excited about going, and evidently he just. Not just text me, but he let me know that he's got a wedding to go to that weekend. So he is not going to be there. 
But that was a show I always went to. That was back in the day, too. I had a much better, uh, there was a boat company that was always there. I had a much better relationship with them. That's another whole story for for many more Crown Blacks. I'll, I'll get into that story sometime. I'm not going to cuss, but I could cuss right now. It's a song by the D- Dirty Knobs. Beep that guy. Anyway, <laughs> Glenn, are you going? Oh. Oh. I'm feeling it. All right, I'm going to do the hydrate uh, for hydration. Uh, blues all over my white shorts now. And this is for recreation. Mm. Yeah. All right. One more wood duck hen. And then I got little puffins to do. And I'm just, I've never painted one. You can Google it. And you, there's a lot of pictures, but they're just not like definitive, very definitive of what's really going on there with them. Speaking of Fred West, as I thought about not having my buff, uh, Fred is going to join us up at PEI. Excited for him to get there. And Punisher Waterfowl, Damien. I could say the boys, cause I, but I don't know who the boys are really going to be. I think it's two others, but I'm, I'm not sure it's part of the the Punisher podcast. The Punisher Waterfowl podcast, Union 0430. I don't have that one memorized. I'm sorry, Damien and the boys. But yeah, Damien's going to be there the second week. Fred's the first week, Damien the second. It's going to be an awesome time. Awesome, Glenn. Yeah, I've got uh, two. The one for the one's for Coot. I've got at least two. She's sadly dead and gone, and they're inside somewhere. And then the six are for are for the, for the decoy contest. Ah, you're not doing any at all. Like I said, uh, Nick was very excited about getting up there and checking it out. And uh, I'm going to do this. I, I, sh- I should probably pull up my reference, but I can't because I'm on Facebook and I got to do Google. So I'll put a little bit of this on here. Just... Did you just see that mosquito go by? I thought I heard something buzzing in my ear. Um, Nick was really excited about doing it. But again, he's got a, uh, this I should have went straight white. He's got a, a wedding to attend. And he asked me, do they do mail-ins? I don't think, I don't think they do. I tried to explain to him too. He didn't, wasn't quite under, didn't understand. Never, he's never been to the show, so that's why he doesn't understand. But the difference of like, a Delaware River versus the Barnegat, Barnegat Bay Bird versus, I guess it would be contemporary. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm kind of wasting my time on these, but I'll, I'll put that on there. It'll be, it'll be good. There's only a couple of them to do, so. Nick, welcome, man. We were just talking about you. Ocean County Decoy Show. I said, sadly, I'm not going to be there. It's Molly's weekend, their 11th anniversary, and you were going to be there except you got a wedding to go to. So, scroll back up through. Well, you probably can't see. Uh, Glenn Norton was talking about decoys in the the Ocean County show. Nick, I've got up in behind me. Oh, you can't see him. Anyway, they're... Uh, I've got a bunch of Drake Bufflehead there. Finally got some paint on them. I've got... <laughs> Be careful, man. You got to make sure you cover all your bases. I got uh, the Drakes behind me. I got some hen Bufflehead right over this way. Uh, I just did Oakview Charlie's kind of priming out his hen his hen wood duck. Got his brand on them. Did, did all my branding this morning. And these are the little puffin. 
So, and with the puffin, truly, I need to get on Google to take a look about reference, but I'm just going to, I know that the rumps are white, so this will work out to some degree. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take those other ones. I want to do right up underneath the tail. Looks like you had a good dove shoot, Nick. Thank you. Thank you for looking good. Yeah, it looks like you guys had a good dove shoot. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Ugh. I've been talking about Texas teal. I've been talking about a lot of stuff. I just like to talk, I guess. Nick, Pit Boss Brown is at Molly's Mart now. I don't know if you really liked it or not, but Pit Boss Brown is at Molly's Mart. Easily found on Route 213 in Kennedyville, Maryland. It is a warm one. Felt really good this morning starting out. I appreciate everybody tuning in on Facebook Live. I don't know how busy it's been. Because I'll see at the end when I get my stats. But uh, if this downloads nicely, I'll put this up on YouTube also. I assume if you're watching this, you already know we have a YouTube channel. But if you did not, YouTube.com forward slash Jeff Coates, J-E-F-F-C-O-A-T-S, or YouTube.com forward slash Pitboss, P-I-T-B-O-S-S, Waterfowl. Glenn, I will, and we will be at the Molly's Tent. Again, I mean, like, Nick, it's, I mean, you can tell me you don't like it. If you don't like it, it's, it's fine. It's not, she's potent, as, as Fred West would say, she's potent. Kid Cochise Outdoors, Captain Mark on Long Island. He said three of those will get you banged up. He's, I'm waiting to see what his review is. <laughs> he did a video on it, so we'll see. See how it looks. All in fun. Speaking of Pit Boss Brown, I'm telling you, and I will put it here on Facebook, but get over on Instagram right now. There's a picture and a video. We're going to be doing a giveaway. Giveaway, con I don't know what is it, a giveaway or a contest. I don't know what describes it best. Is it worth coming down? Hmm. Are you into calling? If you are into calling, Goose and Duck, it is the home of the World Goose Calling Contest, as well as the World Live Duck Calling Contest. So if you're into calling, yes. Generally and typically, it's an awesome fall weekend. Just like the, you know, finally it's just, well, often it's windy, but like the wind, you know, the wind. The uh, weather has just finally kind of changed and it's kind of cooling off nicely. Um, there, Molly's has a, a nice tent of their own, as well as... <laughs> YouTube, Nick says he, he had four and he was feeling more than fine. 7.2%. Um, back to Easton. Uh, Molly's has their own tent, so that's a good thing. That's where I'll be. And then, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, there's two other tents that are basically have like 10 by 10 spaces. Molly's tent is, is kind of a mini's Molly store in their tent. And it, it, their tent is big. Um, and then... The Easton tents are like the typical ten by ten squares, so you know a lot of your a lot of your companies will come and and have those tents. So if you're looking for like a nice getaway, a getaway weekend overnight kind of thing, or a getaway day trip, I think it is nice. It is a good show. It's worth your time, I think. Once you buy a ticket, you can get on the bus and basically drive all around town. Um, for recreation, um, you know the downtown is. Uh, Main Street and like uh, courthouse and all is—it's all shut down. So they have music, they have food. Uh, what the middle school 
so where I'm at and where Molly's is at and the tents are at, the Sportsman's Pavilion is between the high school and the Elks Lodge. And then I still believe they have exhibits at the middle school as well as downtown. And then somewhere there's a Doc, a doc Dogs um, you know, tank, and, and they have that going on too. So there, there is a, little, a good bit going on there for sure. This is for hydration. That's empty. A little bit left in here. But yeah, I think uh, I think I think it's a good time. To, oh, and it, so excuse me, because I already know it. I didn't. I guess it's the kind of thing when I talk to Karen and she should know what I'm talking about. Exhibits vendors at the high school, then the Sportsman Pavilion in between on the lawn in between the high school and the Elks Lodge. Elks Lodge, really nothing going on in there except for the Saturday night dinner after party. So high school, Sportsman Pavilion tent where Molly's is at, and you can catch a bus and go downtown, stop there, as well as go to the middle school, and somewhere again is the doctor competition. So you got all that going on. So I think I think it's a, a, a good time, especially if you're looking for something to do, um, you know, kind of an in, inexpensive. I can't say it's going to be inexpensive for whatever you want to buy, but it's an inexpensive day. I think like the ticket's only like 10 bucks to get in or something like that. So that's pretty much all I got. I have to wait for these to dry a little bit. I should go rig up a fan to blow in here. That would help. That'll help my help my process. Got this big old common merganser. Basically just gotta finish the build. I kind of wanted to go. I've talked to a couple different people. Should I leave it white or should I try to do more of like the, the peachy color? I was thinking about doing a, like a peachy wash. Is where really what I think I'm think I'm about doing it. But anyway, he's he's very very close to get done. Put another coat of paint on the bottom. We'll call him done. Um, red breasteds. Been working on them. Got a little bit more to a little bit more to go to do them. Kevin, no, will not be in Tucker, and that is the same weekend as the Molly's anniversary weekend. So yeah, for sure, Glenn. It's a good time. Um, Kevin, I always went to Tucker. And Boom, 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 boom. I think there's six plaques hanging in here and for decoys and two for uh, coot in the house somewhere. I don't know. I can't really tell you exactly 100% where they're at. But I always went to Tucker. It was a great time. And um, as I said before earlier, maybe a little bit more crown black and I could get into a good story. Had uh, a relationship with a boat company that was always there, so I would always go. So little bit of crown black or more crown black we could get into some better stories about that said duck boat company but um there are some stories there to tell so <laughs> wait a second <laughs> that's not my laugh that's somebody else's laugh <laughs> yeah i think that's all i got i appreciate everyone tuning in to facebook live the buffalo head are up top there uh there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six is on over there. The Tuckerton. Andrew, what's up? Uh, yeah, so in the Buffalo are up there. Um, you know what? I'll pick this up and turn it around. We got we got a little bit of this all going on here. Don't look, don't mind all this mess down here, but we got a little bit of that going on there. We got that going on there. I don't even know what's going on up there, and who knows down in there. Wasted space. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, so, all right, I am in a good mood, I can't really see what time it is, but um, Karen FaceTime auto me, FaceTime auto, auto, what am I even talking about, <laughs> maybe I am feeling the crown just a little bit, uh, no, she uh, she can't work overtime anymore, so she's, she's pretty, probably close to heading this way, and I think I'm going to take a break, just because allow this to uh everything i just painted to catch up and dry one good thing is this morning when i started out i had to brand everything i had to clean up a couple birds before i sealed them up and uh first thing tomorrow morning in the dark i could come out here and just sit it'd be, actually be very very pleasant to sit here in the dark when i say in the dark 4 30 4 45 5 o'clock sit out here in the dark and i can just sit here and paint 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 i got the turtle box I don't, even, I don't even know what that, what is that thing right there? I don't know. I uh, got the turtle box. She's still on, but the turtle box plays. 
I listen to podcasts more than music these days, it seems like. And, yeah, that's all I got. I'm just going to start rambling, so. As I end this, I, I, I looked here and I thought, we're going to say thank you to Molly's Place Sporting Goods. We're going to say thank you to K2 Coolers. Boom. Thank you to Finn City for the Finn City's Pit Boss Brown. And again, I will put it up on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to have to invest it. Just right down in the description, you can click on click on the Instagram page or the Facebook link to get there. We have two 20-quart K2 coolers. Nicely, nicely done. That's why you need to go to Instagram right now and check it out because because of the video. Pit Boss Refuge Series of Buffalo. You know what? I thought about this morning as... Six Mallard dumped in out back. I need to get some corn. Fred West has been cutting corn. Thank you, Glenn. 420. Thank you. She gets off at 430. So I, my time, my internal time clock, pretty good, I think. Not, I'm not bragging, but I'm just saying it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, Fred West, we might need Fred West Farm corn. But I, I thought if I put some in the backyard, I know that the Mallard are coming here because they're here all winter long. And they showed up this morning. So I do need to get some corn. The Buffalo Heads show up. I will say the first week of November, we'll have a Buffalo Head Outback. So we got a little bit more time on that. Um, luckily and thankfully, the bulkhead is all done. So the January on, the bulkhead replacement kind of messed them all up. So uh, this year, that's all done. Man, my hair's still kind of looking a little funky in it. Um, yeah, I'm really rambling. Too many things running through this old mind of mine. Oh, yeah. The K2 coolers. Now I'm back. I'm back. There's going to be two K2 20-quart coolers. I shouldn't have said two. Maybe I'm going to keep one. I don't know. I'm definitely giving one away. No, K2 will give both away. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But I think we're going to do 12-pack of Pit Boss. Finn City's Pit Boss Brown in each of the K2 coolers. They have a really nice, again, get on Instagram and check it out, a very nice pad that has been routed out in gray on the white cooler of the Finn City logo. And inside will be 12 cans, 12 ounce cans of Vin City's Pit Boss Brown. And if for not, I don't have a can here right now, but if for nothing else, if you don't like brown beer for nothing else, you're going to love the logo. It just looks badass. So I think that's all I got. Is that all I got? That's all I got. All right. My hydration is empty, my recreation is empty. And uh, I gotta say, I'm a little bit hungry too. But I have to wait for Karen to come home. So, <laughs> all right, enough. Thank you, thank you for tuning in, joining in with us, Facebook Live. And now this will be on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Jeff Coach, J E F F C O A T S, or youtube.com forward slash Pitboss, P I T B O S S, Waterfowl. Thank you for tuning in. I always appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thinking of you, we are. Boom! Wait a minute, let me do that better. Boom! There.